How did you feel in that tournament? It seems like you had you had it all under control. Bro, I don't know. I'm just so happy to have won like an A plus tournament. The king is back? Is the king back? Mm, I don't know. Like a bonito, you know what happened? Listen, let's talk about the elephant in the room, okay? That situation did happen with you, okay? We're gonna be adding another tier. E tier. And even if you wanna go lower, we're gonna add F. I do trust that the next tournament will be way, way better. And if it's not, then alright, it can die. All right, guys, it's been two weeks since the last episode of Goat Talks, and a lot has been going on. We had King Con, we had Bonito Harbor, and a lot of other things going on throughout these last two weeks. It's been quite a busy couple of weeks. They also had a, a, another tournament in the U.S., I believe, called Cirque. So, yeah, we're going to be talking a lot about uh, all of these tournaments. Some a little bit more, some a little bit less, for sure. But, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So... We're here with MK Leo, the As champion always. of King Con. So, how how did you feel in that tournament? It seems <laughs> like you had you had it all under control, bro. I don't know. I'm just so happy to have won like an A plus tournament. That um, I don't know. That's uh for me rankings. As for now, I mean, I'm gonna be real. I didn't like to be 11 at the Lumi rank, so I'm kind of looking to win some more tournaments or like at least place very well. So I was very happy to be able to be a Spargo. And I um I believe my record against him is kind of even. And I, I, it usually goes good for me. So um I was like, yo, this this is a good win. This is a good win. So I was very, very happy about it. Very hard tournament, but the Joker pull out, bro. Mm -hmm. It seems like Spargo, he's like always been like a player that you do like really well against, right? Is that because like, you know, the cloud matchup too well because of Smash 4 or like, well, what is it that makes you be like, so good against Spargo. Uh, I think it's the cloud matchup knowledge for sure, and and Joker does good against cloud, really. Yeah, yeah, he does do pretty well. Um, I mean, Gone is kind of broken in that matchup. I'm not gonna lie, you give him like really fast, or you like just win neutral with that like over and over. Like he just cannot jump sometimes because of that. If I do it off stage, I might die because of the upbe trade. But if I do it on the neutral, oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. uh, like it's it's good. Like I usually yeah. don't get much, but but I get I get hit and I get forty, so I guess that's fair. Yeah, well, I guess so. Uh, so what did you think of the tournament in general? Like King Kong, I mean, it's in France. I mean, we've both been to France. I mean, you've been to France a lot more than me, though. So like, yeah, what did what did you think about it? France, I don't know. Like you remember the last time you win? They're really passionate about it. All the tournaments have like all the players try harding like literally their best to win. Uh, this, um, like, I guess this tournament has, uh, been one of the more upsetting ones about, like, talking about the upsets of the tournament. Uh, you know that it's got to go 33rd. Mars didn't even, oh, okay. Mars didn't even make it to top eight. That, that's something that's been surprising because, um, like, I don't know. Just talking about the players level, I think they've been getting a lot better in Europe. So the competition has been getting, like, so much, like, so much on fire there. So, um, mm -hmm. I guess it's a really cool tournament experience. And just talking about the tournament organization, uh, I guess it was one of the, uh, it, it has, it had a problem, but I guess it was one of the best run tournaments. Like, even though we had really short time, it ran perfectly. Like they, they were even like, oh, uh, like this tournament is really fast, blah, blah, blah. And not gonna lie, uh, the first day went kind of slow and we had a problem there. Because they were, oh, okay. they were pulling it out of the venue, um, oh. yeah. Because um, the like the venue it closed at seven, and there were still some sets happening from the pools because the second day only had th uh, the top thirty two. So there were some people that were still playing, and they were like, "Bro, you need to you need to get out because uh, the venue is closing." So they oh. like some people couldn't finish their set, and some people finished their set. But I mean. You know, like, how are you going to finish a set that was just, like, supposed to finish in, in a different way, right? So, yeah. that's kind of annoying. But, uh, I don't know. I guess the production is really, like, is really well done in France. Uh, I guess pro and cons, but... Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like every tournament out there. I mean, that does sound really bad. I'm not going to lie. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, like, getting kicked out of the venue is kind of little insane right but uh well i, I did see however that because I, I i saw a little bit about it i was like it was like day one was like a little bit of a mess but then day two 
they seem to like pick it up. It seemed to uh, be running like really well, and like you said, the production in it is amazing. Like if you guys haven't watched like a European tournament, you guys, you guys should. Like their their level of like what they do is like amazing. The stream looks amazing. The quality, everything, is just like amazing. But yeah, I mean, I'm glad they at least picked it up uh, day two because it was top thirty two, right? Like there were still like a couple sets. Yeah, like uh, like for example, the Sky J said against Longo. I, like I was watching it and they were getting kicked out. They were like, there was a guy <laughs> literally screaming in front of them, being like, "Bro, like you need to get out!" Like it's literally screaming. And of course, this guy, just... like Sky J Longo, we're mad. Like, bro, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I can't imagine like someone pulling off a crazy combo and then someone being in front of them like, "Hey, you gotta leave." I don't care if you're like zero to deading with Rob, you, you gotta leave. So <laughs> it's like, oh my god, I don't care if it's last song lesson. Just get out of here. And I know some sets played out the the other day, but like some of the sets were were already finished, so I guess they couldn't play it out. Unfortunate. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I guess that is a little bit unfortunate. Um, so yeah, throughout your run, besides Spargo, like who else did you play? Uh, in winners finals, I played Ruffalo. I was very very glad to beat Ruffalo because uh, last time I went to France, he beat me. Uh, I went Byleth, which I used to consider very, like, at least better against Palu than Joker. But now I've been relearning the matchup a little bit, and I feel, I guess, more confident. But something unfortunate happened to him, that controller thing that uh, got disconnected. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I want you to go in depth with that, because, like, I kept hearing about it, but I didn't watch it, because, like, it was, like, 9 a.m. in Mexico, and it was a Sunday. I'm like, I'm not waking up at 9 a.m. on Sunday. Bro, uh, you're not <laughs> watching a Spargo MK Lay on France? <laughs> I mean, I know you guys are both going to make it to winner's finals. So, like, I can afford to, like, wake up late. That's fine. But um, I did arrive when uh, it was game five and you ha were already winning by a lot. So that's why I was like, okay, what happened? Because, like, I didn't get to see any of it. Like, I just saw you win game five. You won game five. That's it. That's all I watched. I watched, like, literally the last 20 seconds. So yeah. what happened with the with the controller? Uh, the game three we were really even. It was Town and City, two two stocks, and uh, the the pro controller from Ruffalo disconnected, and oh. and then we were like, "What do we do?" We were he was like, "Oh, maybe just like we play it out." Of course, uh, like he's the pro controller one, right? And I was like, "Yeah, like, yeah." Of course, like I don't mind. I understand. That's like that's like like the pro controller, like con, I guess con, yeah, yeah. con controller, bro. So, <laughs> so, so I was like, um, I should just call the TO. Like, we should just call the TO and see the rules. Then the TO came and they were like, oh, the rules are like the person he that disconnected. He lost stocks. I was like, yeah. like I follow the rules. Uh, yeah. So uh, I took the stock and I ended up winning that game. And I still get, went game five. But again, we were really yeah, yeah. even. So I guess. Well, I guess that's interesting still. Because like, uh, well, I, I have a... <laughs> I have a very wild take on pro controllers. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't want to share it because you guys will hate me. But yeah, I guess that is one of the biggest like drawbacks of like using a pro controller. Cause it's like, <laughs> there's been so many people that come like pro controller users, you know, like they, they complain a lot about like what happens with the controllers. And obviously it makes sense. I'm not saying they're stupid for complaining or anything because obviously not, but it does seem like it brings a lot of issues. Like, I've heard like in big events like Genesis, like SmashCon, you know, um, you know, it's like a lot of people. So they get like more delay apparently or something like that or like so something like that. I don't understand what it is. And then, yeah, yeah something like, you with know like what I'm the saying? Bluetooth stuff and like, uh, yeah, like, um, yeah, like something between the connections is uh, is bad interference, I believe. Um, yeah, yeah, I yeah. heard uh, like Shiny Mark, Chase, even Akola have complained about it, mm -hmm. but like, mm -hmm. Like, I guess you yeah, should I mean, know GameCube's that happens, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Like, you should know that happens, right? <laughs> like, that's, yeah. that's a con, so. Because, like, I mean, I guess that's just my opinion on Pro Controllers is a little bit wild, because, like, I used to play Pro Controller before, and I switched to GameCube eventually, because I like GameCube for that's it. And that's why sometimes I'm like, well, if you have so many problems so often, why don't you just use GameCube, right? But, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't want to be that guy. It's like, at the end of the day, you have to use the controller that, you're like most comfortable with i guess so yeah and it's not like it's an illegal controller i guess like it's not something that allows you to like cheat or no, something no, no, no. you know so yeah but um yeah so you play rough flow and before rough flow uh topic qualifier who did you play 
Uh, well, my run was well. The first day, I just want to mention that I played a bro, uh, me brother, bro. I there's another topic, but me brother is so fucking broken, bro. It's, <laughs> hey, it's so crazy. Broken. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I play, uh I had a me brother. Then the second day, I had a Rakure. It's a Sora player from oh, yeah. France. Um, I beat him three zero. Um, top thirty two. Then my next set, <laughs> this set was uh against Apollo, uh, AK. Funny that I played mm-hmm. another player from the U.S. that like uh, that went yeah. to the tournament, but I won three one. The only game that I lost went really unfortunate because it was kind of like a I don't know what happened, but I kind of just lost track of the C four and I couldn't really see it. But it was kind of like a setup, so I guess I need to study that because I'm pretty sure it was like a setup. So maybe we uh, oh. maybe we can get info from it. Apollo's the goat. Like he's uh, he's very good. Mm, then in top eight, I played a Spargo uh, because my first set against Spargo was winner semis, and it was uh, game five. Um, then Raflo, then Spargo again. Oh damn! Okay, um, it, it was. I it guess was, uh, it wasn't that big of a bracket to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like how many attendees was it? Was it like five hundred? It was like four hundred. Yeah, four hundred. Uh, yeah, well, that's still pretty good. Um. But yeah, I mean, that's amazing. You did take the tournament. You beat Spargo not once, but twice. Uh, I believe, because I did watch Winner's Finals, but Grand's was like, because Winner's Finals was like, what, 3-1? No, three, it was two? Game 5. Yeah, it was, it was game, game 5, five right? Yeah. And then Grand's is the one that was 3-1, right? Or yeah. was it also Game 5? Yeah, but that was Winner's Semis, the one uh, that was Game 5. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like... That's uh, that's how it be. I mean, the king is back. Is the king back? I don't know. Like a, a bonito, <laughs> like a bonito. You know what happened? Well, I guess my I don't know is kind of like weird because I still got second place. I went to game five. I guess it's game fifteen because uh, winner finals. Yeah, winner finals. Uh, but I don't know. I would like to beat Spargo again at Bonito Harbor, but I, I guess we can talk about Bonito Harbor later. Yeah, I mean. I guess you do gotta consider the fact that like you only lost to like Spargo, like you just got eliminated by Spargo. You didn't lose to anyone else, so like that's mm. still really, really good, you know. Like, that's yeah, I yeah. feel like when you when you lose a tournament, it's like you gotta think about who you lost to. It's like I don't know. That's the way I see it. Yeah, um, it, was, it was also a pretty stock tournament, so yeah, yeah, yeah. There was another um, big tournament while we were uh, at our tournament this weekend. Uh, and that is, uh, what was it called? Cirque? Cirque yeah, of right? Florida 3. I believe that's the name. Now, originally, I would like to focus on Shattuck because he is amazing. He's actually, like, improving a lot and really fast. Um, so, I mean, what what is it? In, like, the span of, like, these last two or three months, I mean, he, he did well at Let's Make Big Moves. I think he got ninth or mm. 13th at max. Yeah. Um, and then at Genesis, he got top eight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but like, yeah. Um, uh, something to mention here is that he's been doing good since uh, let's make moves to Miami. He's not like he beat oh, yeah. me, yeah, yeah. but like <laughs> <laughs> I believe he yeah. got like seventh, fifth of that tournament. Like he's been doing good ever since like November or something like that. So oh yeah, bro, you're right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And every tournament, like like of, uh, from a core player perspective, he sometimes gets like a like a like a bracket so sometimes he gets like uh like matchups that are weird but uh, he's usually doing very very good in the brackets these days like you said so really mm-hmm. crazy stuff the the core and goat for sure yeah yeah no for sure um he's also been in like a lot of good players like you said like you and me um uh what else he's been in the boss he's been in riddles he beats riddles pretty often um and i think he goes at least like he takes like a couple games off from tweak as well so He's, he's definitely getting there. Um, but the player that I also want to give a lot of highlight to is Peepnot. Now, how did he... How did he get to Grands, dude? That's crazy with Mega Man. That's, like, a little insane. He beat me, yeah. Dude, uh, he beat Game & Watch Mega Man. Yeah, he won um, Game & Watch Mega Man, but he didn't get to Grands, I believe. Wait, he, uh, did he not? No, he... Um, we were talking- oh, no, he got... Mm. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'm I'm pretty sure he got a fourth. Some um, pretty sure. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. he beat Zamba though. I know that. And um, Shuton for sure. Shuton, Mia, and Zamba. 
I mean, like, that's already pretty I don't good know, man. Way. I feel like Mega Man is kind of crazy, so. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at the bracket right here, and Peep not beat Mia Game 5. He beat Zomba 3-0, my goat. Uh, he went Game 5 with the boss, so, like, that's insane. Like, still, getting 4th place... Yeah. Only losing to the boss as well, because he did lose to the boss in winners as well. Yeah. Um, and beating players like uh, Shuton, Mia, uh, Zomba. I mean, he beat Shuton 3-0-2, man. Like, it wasn't even 3-2 yeah. or anything. God, you, uh, you were really, you look really surprised about, like, him taking out Mia. What, why is that? Because um, I, <laughs> well, I think that might be my fault, because uh, I did play with Peep Not. I, I played with him, like, multiple times online for practice. <laughs> And I played him at a coin box recently, so me, yeah, Loki, I gave him the matchup experience. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. But I still think, like, the way Mia plays, like, he should be dealing with Mega Man pretty well. So, like, I mean, it was game five still, right? But, like, it's it's crazy. Like, I, I don't know if uh, Kamehameha has never gone Mega Man versus him in Japan or if they don't have any other Mega Mans in Japan. But I don't know. Maybe yeah, Beatdown just know. has, like, a Game & Watch experience. It could be. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's crazy. Because of you, literally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We do play a little bit uh, online, like a lot, actually. But yeah, I mean, I guess that was Cirque. Um, Zomba, good fifth. Any takes on that as a former number one in the world? <laughs> Bro, that's so funny. Well, he said that <laughs> he he said that he was better than everybody else, and uh. Some, I don't know what happened, bro. So maybe, maybe not everybody. Yeah, because they also had that invitation on. If I'm not incorrect, he did not win a single set. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, crazy, bro. <laughs> that's, bro. Like that's 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 the ultimate life. So I'm consistent. I feel like, like, yeah, like, bro, like you, like that's why you don't talk that that much shit, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, like trolling aside, like. I do think Ultimate is, like, a really hard game to, like, be consistent at, you know? It's uh, lots of matches and stuff, but, yeah, that's, that's why you don't... don't yeah, don't like, it could go either way, bro. Ways. Like, yeah, like, you gotta be so sure, bro. Like, so consistent. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I respect it, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But that game is just like that, you know? Like, yeah. that game is like what you're saying. Yeah, it's, well, it's Ultimate, so, yeah. <laughs> bro, no... <laughs> because <laughs> like i don't know i think you would much rather prove that you're number one in the world by winning than by just talking you know but that's, that's my own opinion i don't know i don't know hmm, definitely but anyways who else uh Mew Days got second um i mean Mew Days kind of has been farming for like a long time and he's been doing well right like he's he's definitely been improving a lot he uh ever since miami too like he got like fourth fifth at miami i think so been doing really well uh, it was a very interesting set against shattuck because uh at, in winners finals of the tournament he uh he got a uh, 3 out by shattuck like badly he even tweeted yeah. out like oh i cannot beat this like i cannot beat the man and like he got the grand finals he won the first set and then the other set was game five so like the, adapt <laughs> the adaptation was so quick and i don't know that's 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 goaded. So props to uh, like shout outs to me days. That was uh that was cool games to watch. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh and you are right about it. Yeah, it was game ten in Grands, but a three oh in winners finals, which is kind of insane. It could have gone either way, basically. Um and this tournament was also like A or A plus, so it was a major at the end of the day. Yeah. They also had like uh the invitational, which was uh an A plus an A plus A tier, something like that. Uh, that's, that's Wait, so it was crazy. two eight tiers in a row. Yeah, so that's that's bro, that's crazy. Yeah, I, <laughs> that I, is a little bit insane. I'm not gonna that lie. Is, insane. That's, that's, is that the way invitationals? Invitationals, yo, like, let's find like, points. Like before the majors, that's that's. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, low key, it is, dude. Yeah, but um, yeah, no. Uh, so, uh, well, in the top eight, Asim also got top eight. Um, he beat Anathema, he beat, uh, wow, he actually had a bit of a, of a bracket, he beat, uh, Anathema, but then he had to play Syrup, who is now Talking Ben Talking on Smash ben. GG. Yeah. Talking Ben was goaded, so, yeah. <clears throat> it was game five, and 
thing yeah. about Sarah, w- was it a he Steve? also went game five with the bus. Was it a Steve yeah. or an a Steve? Um, um, so against uh, Asimov, it was full Steve. And against the bus, it was... First two games was Steve. And then the other two games that he took was Ness. Or rather, the other three games was full Ness. Like, he took games with Ness against his Minmin and Rosa. Hmm. Uh, Rosa? I, I heard that yeah. matchup was kind of bad, right? Because, like, you get off stage, you get down B. GGs. Down B, yeah. <laughs> like, kind of like you on watch, but... Uh, I can yeah. see, I can see it working against Min Min. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's um, I mean, yeah, I know his Ness is pretty good, but I'm re- I'm really surprised because I I don't think he's used it as much because well now he mains Steve, so he's his focus is in Steve, mm-hmm. not in Ness. So it's still pretty impressive that he he went game five with the boss with Ness. Like that's yeah. that's kind of crazy because like you said, the match is also like pretty bad. Like. Ever since Smash 4, it's just down B, GG's. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, yeah, so that was Cirque. That was uh, King Kong. And now let's talk about... Da-da-da, drum roll, please. Uh, Bonito Harbor, which I don't even think is the name of the tournament anymore at this point. But that's another topic <laughs> for another day. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... That, that'll, be, that'll be a fire podcast, just gonna say. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's uh, you guys better stay tuned, man. So... Tournament, Puerto Vallarta. If you guys don't know what that is, I'd be very surprised because there were a lot of Americans over there. So, yeah, um, I'll give my thoughts on it in a bit, but I want to hear from you first, uh, Leo. So, <laughs> what, are you, what, are, what did you think about the tournament? I mean, very, this feels awkward, but oh, it, my God. No, no, no. It's funny that you say that uh, That uh, it's. I would be surprised if you guys don't know what it is because, yeah, I feel like Puerto Vallarta is one of the most touristic places in Mexico. Uh, and a lot of people go, so, uh, I mean, we went to the beach, very nice beach. I just want to mention that, like, the beach was amazing. I would I would <laughs> yeah, like to be at the beach, like, a little bit more, of course. <laughs> like, if the tournament was the beach, of course. But it's still, uh, my experience with the tournament, uh, what can I say? I mean, of course, if you speak Spanish, if you, if you... Or if you use Google, Google Translator, if you take uh, like your time to read my tweets, thanks so much. You're my fan. Thank you. Um, like you know what's been happening, um, and basically it was just like you said, like you, like, like you told me, in, like uh, like there you were talking. Like I guess everybody was saying, and it's it's it kind of sucked, bro. It sucked. <laughs> It, it kind of sucked, bro. Yeah. It kind of sucked. Uh, I'm gonna be real. Listen, if you guys watched our tournament tier list video, you guys know that even though we have our like, you know, like we just like a couple <laughs> things here and there from tournaments, we're still like, hey, at the end of the day, it was fine or it was good or it was really good, you know. So if you take a look at our tier list video, no tournaments were in C tier, no tournaments were in D tier, right? Yeah, anything but like the, that. But this time we were we gonna be adding another tier, E tier. And even if you want to go lower, we're going to add F. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I don't know. But I guess the uh, I guess you guys been uh, seeing Twitter, so uh, you guys can get a lot of info on it. But um, bro, like, listen, let's talk about the elephant in the room, okay? That situation did happen with you, okay? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to fully address it here. Go to Twitter. Take your time. You guys love gossiping over there, so do what you do. But um, basically what I'm trying to get at with this is that that situation, all I'm going to say is that it wasn't fully responsible for like a lot of what the tournament also had. The biggest thing for me um, uh, is that it didn't even have chairs or a projector for you to watch the sets. And to me, that's like, okay, yeah, that situation with this guy happened, but is that an excuse to not even have that? Is is that an excuse to, like, since day zero, at, like, the pre-tournament, not even have, like, a security filter? Is that an excuse for, like, a lot of what happened, really? Like, you know how, like, the amateur bracket got canceled, the volleyball bracket got canceled? It's like, how is any of that related, really, you know? Because, like... The tournament was so well, small, like... Like, uh, like... How were they like, bro? That's those were just a lot of people. So, how were they gonna do it? They didn't even have enough setups. They couldn't do anything. So, yeah, if I'm not incorrect, the pre-tournament had between four to six setups for a hundred people. 
you you heard that right. It was not it. Like being fully honest, everyone there at the pre tournament was there to chill, but also at the same time there were people who were there to do both or to just compete. So that's also like still not fair, you know. Even if like even if you know that most of the people going are going to be chilling. It's still not fair for the people who are doing both or like are focusing fully on competing because you want to go try hard before the tournament. Like it's still not fair on like either side. So like having four to six setups for a, a tournament is a hundred man tournament is a little bit crazy in my opinion. It's, it's I, I don't know. That tournament was not going to finish. It actually did not finish if you guys didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't it know actually, that. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that? Okay. No, so. Know. The the tournament continued the next day at the actual tournament, and that's it. I don't know if the price was still given, like the cash money. That's another topic for another day. Actually, I didn't even think about it up until now. But yeah, that, that pre-tournament finished the next day. And in my honest opinion, even had you not fucked up either way, the tournament would not have finished either way. Like, it was six setups, man. There's no way. <laughs> There's actually no way. It's a hundred setups. I mean, it's a hundred people for, with six setups. There's actually no way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate, bro. I didn't know that the tournament finished the second day. I mean, like Saturday. That's what I mean. Like that's crazy. Yeah. 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 yeah um, well, the other thing that I wanted to address, and you addressed it to me first. I remember, like when we were there, is that so? And this had also nothing to do with like whatever it is that happened, right? Um, but they had said that the tournament was in another hotel and turns out, and that, that hotel that they were at, if you guys go to the star GG, it says the, the venue hotel was the friendly hotel. That's the name of it. Right. And the, the whole, the, the whole event happened at the Mio hotel, which if you guys take a look at some Google pics, you don't even have to go there to like the Google me. maps. Yep. Yeah. The friendly is like five times bigger or even more. And the Mio hotel is piss. <laughs> it was bad. It was very small. And yeah. but this is, this is something that we should mention. And the Mexican community were even like, uh, putting bad reviews on the hotel, uh, page. You know that, right? Like, there really? were, like I, I saw on Twitter that like there were a lot of people just like reviewing, reviewing badly the hotel. Just because like of the saying, event? Yeah, because of the event. Like, a lot of the <laughs> participants there, of course. No, like, I, I'm being for Shit. real. Yeah, I'm being for real. Yeah. Okay, listen, before you guys get mad and be like, oh, you guys have not, like, dumped a lot of shit on the hotel just because the tournament was ran badly. The hotel itself was garbage because I'll let you know, you could not, there was, like, a little, like, living room outside the doors of, like, where the venue was at, and you could not even sit there. If you would sit there, we got kicked out of there, like, once. Do you remember that? Uh, You would sit there, and they would tell you, like, hey, guys, you cannot be here. You have to go in. And then we were like, okay, but we just got told we cannot go in because we're not playing. And they were like, well, we kind of don't care. So like, you're, you're going to get out. It's like, all right, whatever. And you also couldn't use the bathroom sometimes. That happened to me once. And you also couldn't order food at the restaurant inside the hotel. Like that to me is garbage. Like, come on, man. Like you cannot let people sit in a stupid living room in the lobby you cannot let people eat at your hotel. They're like, you don't want them to give you money? Like, that to me is stupid. Like, what do you mean? You know? <laughs> like, bro, oh, bro, it's 200 people. You know how many people are going to want to eat at your restaurant? Especially when, like, the closest food place was, like, 15, 20 minutes away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like being super hot. Like there were still some people like being uh, like outside the venue because there weren't a lot of uh, like chairs or capacity like inside the venue. So there were a lot of people that like, like basically they couldn't enter until the time they played. That's that's what happened. So if you, uh -huh. but the, the, the main problem was that like the brackets were so delayed. So if you played at 130, yeah, you couldn't enter until 1.30, but, like, guess what? Since it was pretty late, you couldn't enter until 4.30 or, like, 3.30 because <laughs> it's two hours late, so... Mm-hmm. My pool was at 4.30, and I played at 7. 7. Guys, 7. <laughs> you know when was the last time I played this late? Or when my bracket was delayed that much? Back at Smash and Splash. You know where Smash and Splash is at right now? It's gone. It's gone! You know what I'm saying? It was a long time ago, man. But, anyways... Like, 
now that you're talking about like the venue and being there and like for a long time, we all I think it's also like we gotta specify that the the smash G also said like I don't know what the word for this is in English, honestly. I'm gonna try to put it the best way possible, but it said aclimatado or like fresh, um, basically, like basically it had AC, air con, conditioner, right? Con un espacio amplio, uh, like a big space. That, yeah, like a like white a, space. Like yeah, a yeah. white space. And, and basically, it had neither of them. Like, the white space was never there. Like, the venue was tiny. It was for, like, I'm not even kidding. It was for, like, 40, 50 people max. And there was no AC up until the end of day one. So, basically, all of day one, no air conditioner. Everyone was dying of heat. And then uh, the, the second day, they fixed it. Like, like I said, they started putting it at the very, very end of day one. So, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I mean, lots of things happened um the tournament also offered a one thousand five hundred dollar pot bonus like that's on top of like whatever is gathered with like the entry fees and whatnot so at this point i'm kind of like well i, I hope at le that at least they pay right it's like god damn <laughs> it's like god damn it's uh it's a little insane i it, listen i don't know about you but it makes me mad because um we're not i'm not gonna tell you guys what what i'm uh cooking but i've been talking with this guy about some stuff some projects that we have upcoming right and it's all for the mexican scene it's all so that people worldwide can recognize us as like oh yeah mexico has more players than just mk leo spargo me sky j big boss chad right six people is like not what mexico is we're a lot more people in that like we have a lot more players rocks to just mention like some others right um but you had the opportunity. You had every single recognizable player. Like, every top Mexican player was there. And you missed the opportunity. Not even because of what happened with this guy, but because the tournament in general was bad. Like, that to me pisses me off a lot. It's like, if, if people come to my country, or if people come to, like, from a different state, like, I want to give them the best experience possible. Whatever it takes. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I had to, like, talk with the venue like just you know you know what i'm saying or whatever if i have to like uh i don't know man i would do whatever it takes for it to be like really good it's all of what i'm trying to freaking say man like that that's about it yeah i guess bro i i guess there's a lot of context there because like i guess they just didn't care or have it or, or had like an idea or on like how to make it does that make sense like mm -hmm. uh like for example the like you couldn't even watch the games there were a moment where like like for example at, at doubles the first day or like even some matches like you remember the spargo against the dk match that like oh yeah uh like i mean it's the stream set up and like you had people literally right in front of you screaming <laughs> and even even the spargo was just laughing still just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spargo got up and he was like, "Bro, why is there so many people around here?" <laughs> he literally said that. I'm not even making it up. He literally stood up and immediately said that. Oh my yeah, cause, god! Because because like the space was just so small, like we couldn't, like, we couldn't be anywhere else. So. Yeah, another thing I think I found really bad is the fact that there was no water for like a good amount of time. Like they did fix it day one as well, but they fixed it like super late. That like they gave us water like really really late and apparently one of the tos i'm not gonna put their name out there but one of the tos from like another event um who was there he brought a whole like gallon of water or like whatever it's called it's like a, one of those 20 liter um water recipients thingies i don't know how to call it in english but just convert 20 liters into um, whatever you guys use uh-huh someone brought that what he just said um, someone um, brought that to the venue Un garrafón. Por, por, mm -hmm. Please, Luminosity, translate that garrafón. Someone, someone brought that to the venue because they were like, hey, I want to help the, the commentators out. And the people at the hotel were like, you cannot bring that in. And he was like, oh, it's for the staff. And they were like, yeah, we don't care. You cannot bring that <laughs> in. And I don't know how he made it happen, but he still made it into the venue with the, the garrafón. Goaded, I mean, honestly, because I mean, the hotel was capping. I mean, it's a staff, right? Like, you should be able to get water inside the venue when you're a staff. I mean, uh, it, I mean, it should be water inside the venue. Just like that's that's the point, right? Really yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're in a tournament, like at the beach, like listen, if you're not gonna have AC at the venue, 
which was tiny and with a bunch of people, at least have water, bro. Like, come on, dude. Why did it take so long for them to be like, oh, yeah, we need water, guys? It's like, oh, yeah. I mean, the human body is made out of what? 60, 70% water? Do you think we need water? No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, no, no. That's probably what they thought. But um, still, I don't know. <laughs> Lots of things are wrong with that term. And I think, uh, what what else am I forgetting? Because I feel like I had like at least like five more things to talk about with like this whole thing. And I kind of just blurred out right now because of how mad I am. So give me give me one more opinion while I think about this. <laughs> you look very mad. Um, I guess, let me see. The chair, the chair stuff was kind of a uh, very unfortunate. I guess the chair, the space, uh, the tournament ran very late. And again, uh, I could have mentioned something about it, but like the other staff members, like the the persons, uh, the people that you mentioned about bringing the garrafon, they were they were also doing a lot of like stuff for the for the band, and they were like treated being treated bad by by the hotel, like they literally didn't care about like it being a staff like literally the same person that you mentioned that like the to like i mean um he was just like chilling in the like in the couches like outside the venue like of course like i'm pretty sure you guys been at the venue um and he was just like bro like i i just saw you right there like what happened oh like this guy just kicked me out of there like he just told me to go outside the hotel or come back here because i couldn't be like in between I was like, like that, that's pretty weird. Oh my god! That's... And he was he was just chilling there, and I was like, bro, it's the staff. Like he also runs off the tournament. He was like part of the stream, and it was just right there chilling, bro. Like like resting. Like, of course, like there wasn't a lot of space inside, but he couldn't be in between. Yeah. Um. Speaking of the hotel stuff, I just remembered one big big thing. Which I don't know if I should say because I'm not entirely sure about it, but I do believe it because I saw it from someone else, like the like a guy that we hung out with. Um, I mean, his tweet is out there, so if you guys find it, like I'm not gonna say the name, but if you guys find the tweet, you'll know who it is. But they tweeted that basically, um, the staff would be racist towards them if you were not like a foreigner, you know, like not necessarily like American or anything like that, but if you weren't a tourist from like a different country, they would be treated badly and with like some racism so <laughs> that's a it's a pretty big accusation in my opinion and um yeah it's it's terrible like i mean i've only experienced racism once in my smash career and it's bad it's it's freaking terrible it's insane bro <sighs> at least i'm very glad that the like I've seen some people reviewing, like, giving bad reviews to the hotel. Like, again, like you said, we're not trying to, like, like blame it all on the hotel, of course not. But, like, at least that was kind of messed up. Yeah, I think everyone played their part in this tournament. Like, it's like, this this guy f***ed up, this other guy f***ed up, the hotel f***ed up, this other thing from the hotel f***ed up. Like, everything was just messed up. Like, it was not just one thing. It was, like, a bunch of different things. But I do feel and I do want to point out that, like, um, I think a lot of, like, what happened, like, they were trying to, like, I don't know if I should say it, but I, I think they are trying to, like, excuse themselves with, like, a lot of what was happening, like, behind the scenes, you know? And it's like, you guys had to be there for me, for you guys to understand, but uh, just have my word on it, like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, again, like, uh, I guess this is something weird to mention, but you guys have to consider that even though we're speaking in, in English, like it was a Mexican tournament with Mexican organization. Mm. So you got to understand that it's like completely different, like TO runners and organizations that you might know. So, so like, we're not talking about like any of the tournament organizers that you might know, like from the U S yeah. like from Europe. Uh, so there's a lot of context. Like, yeah. And you guys like, gotta like know that the like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You guys gotta know that, like, that's what I was saying earlier, right? Like, and what you just pointed out, like, lots of the TOs here in Mexico are really good, like, really, really amazing. Like, I mean, we've had a bunch of, like, tournaments with really good quality, you know? Like, Delfino Moss and Smash Factor are there for a reason. They've reached S tier and A tier status for a reason as well. And Smash Factor's been doing it for 11 years, and yeah. Delfino for, what is it now, like, six, five years now? 
they've been added because of that because they're like amazing tournaments. Um, just don't take this tournament as what turn as for what tournaments are in Mexico is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like tournaments in Mexico are great. They are ran greatly. This was just like a bad experience. Yeah, and even to the like a, like, like mm-hmm. weird random experience. Yeah, like we weren't even sure what like uh like to and stuff. Like we couldn't like get in contact that much. So it was yeah, I actually couldn't get a room. Because of that, that's a <laughs> that's a tough topic. See what I mean? This was oh, bad starting uh, oh, from yeah, day I zero. Gave, I gave you the idea, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The, this tournament was bad from day zero, bro. But um, anyways, what I'm trying to say is, and I was I was gonna get to this point is that I think I I also kind of don't want to see the tournament die. You know, like I know everyone had a bad experience with it, but I do think if they want to run a tournament again. Like the these like same like people who ran uh, this tournament, like I do think they should go for it because I hate seeing tournaments die. But I do think they had a lot to learn from in this tournament, and I think with that, I do trust that the next tournament will be way way better. And if it's not, then all right, it can die. <laughs> but I think it deserves. A second chance, as much as I hate to say yeah, it. Yeah, like, of course, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do think it deserves a second chance. So, yeah, I mean, take a lot of what we said as feedback. And also, I mean, it is yeah. feedback with anger, but it's justifiable, honestly. Because, like, or at least for me, it's what I'm saying. It's like, <sighs> I'm so mad. I can't continue. Bro, okay. Let's change the topic. We already talked about, like, those part of the tournaments. But talking about these mass related part of the tournament uh like Meister were mentioning like at the beginning uh Mexico is just not six people we have a lot of other players um two I mean three surprising players that got to top eight was uh Javi, Leaf and Waka of course yo um it's really strong players Leaf uh I want to mention Leaf first because I was really impressed by how like the Bayonetta worked against Spargo in the last game that for me was just like like art bro like that was just a piece of art like that was just peak gameplay bro I, I, like yeah. i don't know how to describe it because like sparkle looked actually like bro like what is happening yeah um, um i mean he took him to like he was almost like reverse three stocking right he took him to like 150 on the last yeah stock. yeah and like he was doing like badly not gonna lie i don't know what happened leaf probably just woke up it was like no i can't i can't lose that way i can't get yeah. three stock but I don't know. Like there was a lot of good players. Waka, of course, beating you, beating a lot of other good players. Leaf, uh, I forgot to mention, beat his Kai J before facing his Fargo. And, and that was like not even top in qualifier, yeah. Yeah, like very stacked tournament. Like you you guys know Gilhu with the Kirby, like beat Javi, and Javi made top eight, but Gilhu got ninth because like Oh yeah. Gilhu against Kai J was for top nine, like for top eight qualifier. That's like that was also pre- like the tournament was pretty sad. Yeah, it was game five too with uh, Skyji and Gilhu. They go like really even. Like you guys got to think about all those things. Like players, like like we have a lot of players that are just missing to like travel or just have exposure in general. You know, so I I, I think so. Um, what what else was I gonna say? Oh, Rocks actually got beaten by So Leso. For those of you who don't know who that is, that's a uh, legendary DK from Mexico since Smash Four. He does really well, like really, really well ever since Smash 4 and he beat Rox in uh, uh, what? DK, man. I, 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 I want to talk about DK. I, I, like, bro, no, no. Come on, man. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of do hate DK as well when I'm Game on Watch. So it's like, even though I hate him, sometimes I touch him when he dies. So it's like, whatever. Yeah, everything is yeah. Ever since Violet came out, that was like, bro, take it. Like, we know that like, you hated DK. You just take Violet. That was, yeah, you just take this. I'm just so lucky. Yeah, because I don't know the matchup and Violet just doesn't survive me. Just, just for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we had a couple of other things. I'm trying to think of like other upsets. Because uh, Skyji lost to Leaf, but then he lost to me. And seating wise, that's not an upset. Uh, how, who did Javi lose to? In, oh no, you know what? Tilde, Tilde was there too. Actually, we haven't talked about him either. But uh, he only lost to Chag and me, so he honestly didn't do bad at all. And I mean, I, I kind of messed up losing to Waka. I don't know how Waka would have done against Tilde. Actually, I'm not saying he any of them would like 
had won or lose 100%. But uh, how do you think that would have went if I hadn't lost, for example? To to Waka? I don't know. Like, yeah. Waka against Still Day? I was talking about it with um, one of my, uh, some of the friend. I, it was Law. Because uh, Luigi does kind of good against Falco, but, like, Falco is still pretty good at, like, keeping Luigi outside and just, like, edge guarding Luigi very well. The way I see it is that, like, the gun is kind of the same as the Joker gun, basically. I mean, it's, like, a little bit worse. But it kind of works the same way. I just, like, keeping Luigi, like, in front of you, not being able to grab you. And that's, like, oh, yeah. also very important in the matchup. Um, but I don't know. I feel like the matchup, even though, in my opinion, could be bad, and and Luigi's player's opinion is bad, I feel like Falco <laughs> could, like, Falco could do it, you know? Like, bro, yeah. like, like, come on, it's, it's Falco, like... Like you, like you can edge guard him. You got a, like you got the gun. So I was kind of like giving uh, Law some advices, but uh, I guess it didn't happen. Yeah, uh, it would have been an interesting set for sure. I mean, my set would tell it was game five. That's one of the more like patient sets I've had to play in the last. That set was months. so high, bro. That was that was pure gameplay. I was watching it. It was on Dolphino Master Stream. Uh, like in case you guys want to watch it, that was. That was big gameplay. Both of the players would really like, like you were really patient. Tilda was really patient. Both were punishing really like the habits that the other player had. Like very good off stage game. I don't know how Falco is able to make it back every single time against Game Watch Pro. That's, <laughs> that's like the, the stupidest thing. But dude, I even kept doing like the drag down back air so that he would uh not make it back, and he would. I was like, why? That's yeah. crazy. <sighs> good set, bro. So, yeah, that was a good set. Um, okay, so you played Waka in top eight. I played Waka in top eight. Um, you played Spargo, good, right? Good set. Then again, Spargo. It was very good. Uh, well, first talking about the Waka set. Waka is the first Luigi I played that always gets the misfire, bro. Holy, like, holy, <laughs> he, like every single time I'm like, no, there's no way he gets it. Like, literally, you know that a specific situation against Luigi that you, like, you would just be like, no, bro, there's no way. It's just like a, a flip coin, but he always gets the right side. And, ah, like, that was kind of annoying. Um, very close games, 3 0. But, uh, then again, it's 4 yeah. Um, I believe it was uh, game 15 overall. Yeah. I actually, yeah. Uh, one of the best sets I ever played, of course, like even if I lose to Spargo, it still was one of the most fun that I have playing Smash. And I feel like it was very nice, even though like, um, I guess game 15 is really time, bro. Like, I'm going to be real. Like, I was still like enjoying it a lot and I was still like like on fire. So that was that was a very fire set. Um. I ha I'm happy. I'm very happy. I got to get my run back after beating you and uh, and you on um yeah. Basically, it was just uh you. <laughs> yeah, because uh, do you know that the top eight graphics is a chat goes there, so I was just like getting confused. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so um, I, it was just you. So I don't know. I was very happy to get the run back, and also so very happy that he got the run back from King Kong. I feel like it was going to be a good rivalry. So overall, I guess I'm very excited to play him again. Mm, but about this said, I I would like to win, like I said, but uh, next time. Yeah, we're getting the that reverse for Yo and Grand. So like, it was it was honestly a really good set. Like it's been a while since I last, uh, you know, because like you guys every time you guys play, it's it's a good set. But like these two sets and Grands were like great sets. You know what I'm saying? Like it was it was insane. Because like sometimes it's like. So that's I can tell, like, okay, he's going to win. Or, like, okay, no, he's going to win now. But, like, those 10 games in Grand Finals, I was like, I don't know who's going to win. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> it's, it's going back and forth. Nice. That's that's what I like to hear. Thank you. That's that's cool. And uh, I don't know, man. Like, hopefully we uh, we have more six like that. And like you said, like, we never know who's going to win. And that matchup is just so much fun. Like, playing Spark is just so much fun. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Sets overall. Yeah, and we're leaving it at that. Uh, <laughs> Mexico is getting a lot of level up, so ah, please come for more majors. You guys should come to try the Mexican level, just like today. Like it was yeah. the only, it was the only U.S. player, and like, like he just came by himself. Like you guys can do. Yeah, it. I love how uh, he actually replied to Light. I think he was like, Light was like, "Why aren't you here?" And Tilda was like, "Mexico." 
better than I believe it was I don't know if Florida or the US. Florida. Yeah, Florida. Yeah, yeah. I was like, dude, low key a tournament at the beach. I mean, I know Florida has a beach, but like brother. <laughs> I'm like, brother. <laughs> but um yeah, anyway, so I think that's gonna do it for today. Lots of things to talk about. We talked about three different tournaments, lots of things going on. So uh yeah, Lil. Do your thing, man. <laughs> what is my thing, Meister? Messing up the intros, but I got the outros. Thank you guys so much <laughs> for watching the Go Talks. Uh, good tournaments overall. Like, talking about Smash, of course, they had their cons about uh, the organization. But, uh, again, please don't, uh, don't take it on the TOs that much. I guess uh, uh, we all have, like, second opportunities, like Meister said. So, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Um let us know how excited you are for collision and for the next rounds because it's going to be tough. So see you guys next time. And it was a good talk.